almost hit 31. And the story is on the Prairie Frames um, just yesterday. And it is Be Who You Are by Todd Parr. And, and so it's a, it's a book about diversity and for families and for kids. And so as you walk, you will enjoy that entire story. And we have copies in the library that can be checked out as well. So in case you, you never finish uh, your walk out there. I want to just thank a few folks. Uh, we're going to start out actually with the Tippecanoe County Public Library staff. Uh, we leave staff to the end. We say the most important people are at the end. Uh, but we'll start off with the staff, especially the facilities coordinator, John Devine, who's not here today. Uh, but John has put a lot of time and energy into the story walk uh, from start to finish. Uh, the We Are Prairie Branch staff um, that Mary has already mentioned, and also our communications staff. We're the ones who are responsible to be able to um, actually tear a book apart, lay it out, and then be able to laminate it so that it goes out there uh, in the frames, as we call it, where the posts are. This particular book actually uh, was given by an executive director of school and library marketing for Will Brown and Company. Uh, I saw her at a conference recently and told her what I was looking for. She had this book and she gave us three copies, two of which are out there and the third copy that will go into the collection. So Victoria Stapleton, uh, someone that I've known for a few years, donated this, first, this book that we put in for this ribbon cutting ceremony. There are just a few other folks that we want to thank and recognize. Um, Dinah McClure is a past board member. She served 16 years on the Tippecanoe County Public Library Board. And as she retired from her job at the College of Agriculture at Purdue University, her coworkers wanted to honor her. And they wanted to honor her by connecting it back to the library. And so her coworkers raised funds to be able to um, have a bench be a part of the story. Stories on the prairie. <laughs> stories on the prairie, I'm so sorry. Uh, and Dinah's here. Dinah, would you please stand? All right. Thank you. So, so she, um, her, and, and her colleague, um, Becky, is not here today. She had planned to be here, but was unable to get here today. Uh, but they'll come back out together as a group and be able to celebrate the bench being out there. We have three other benches out there, and one of the Tiffany County Public Library financial supporters, as well as a friends member for many, many years, was in charge of many book sales, Adele Needham and her husband, Ron. Um, they have contributed to pay for the other three benches that are out there. And Adele chose names uh, to go on those benches. And one of those names is Larry French, who's right here in the front, who also is a Friends member uh, for many years and has been a past president and uh, helps to coordinate some uh, things at the book sale right now. Let's get Larry here. Uh, Larry French. <laughs> Another person who there's a bench out there maybe for or in honor of is Jane Rutledge. Jane mm -hmm. was not here today. Jane has been with the library for a long, 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 long time. Uh, she is responsible for our online sales. And when I came to this library way back, Jane was almost the only person doing online sales. And, and uh, now she has several folks, some in the room, who help her do online sales. And for you folks who might not know, we uh, are still, I think, taking in between eighteen dollars and $20,000 online in terms of book sales uh, that we do all over the country and sometimes across the water to other places. So um, Adele and Ron sponsored this is for Larry French, Jane Rutledge, and Amy Padgett. Mm -hmm. Amy Padgett was the assistant director of the library. Uh, she used to be in charge of development. Amy loved fundraising, mm -hmm. which I do not love. <laughs> and, um, and so uh, when Amy retired um, back in 2017, if I'm not mistaken, um, um, there's a space in this building that's named for her in terms of the children's area because she was a former children's librarian and Adele chose to honor her with the bench as well. So Adele Needham, who has been a financial supporter, you want to stand up, and her husband is back here with him. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So uh, just to mention Snyder Geomatics, they're the folks who laid out the trail for us, the layout and design of the trail with the slopes and where the benches go and all of that. Fox Paving and Hauling, uh, it was their responsibility to actually take the trail from design to reality by way of the asphalt paving and digging in the ground and doing everything that they needed to do. They're not here today as well. And then finally, um, 
to Friends of the Tiffany County Public Library. Their $40,000 gift initiated this trail. Uh, their support uh, to be able to pay for the trail. And, and we thought initially there was too much money. Where's Nick? I'll see what Nick is. <laughs> that's Nick. I think Nick probably was treasurer, maybe. Yeah. And uh, we kind of thought, oh, that's okay. We're going to be able to do a couple of trails with that. And it's not happening. <laughs> first of all, it took a while to get just this first trail done because of just the cost of the trail, the timing, and everything that was associated with that. But we finally had it done. And we just want to thank the friends for their $40,000 gift. Their gift absolutely made this thing come true. And as Mary Rose Wolski has, has alluded to, the idea of exercise and literacy as a combination is a great opportunity for folks to just enjoy time together, for kids to be able to build up their literacy, literacy skills, and uh, to be able to talk about things that you might not take the time to talk about. So uh, we're excited to have Stories on the Prairie. Um, Mary Springer did research before we named this building and found out there was some Native Americans uh, and tribes, and so this was Prairie Land, which is why it's called Story on the Prairies as well. So I will stop. Thank you all again so much for being here. We wanted to try to do a ribbon cutting of some sort. So we have the ribbon and we have scissors. It's what space will we choose? And uh, is it wet outside or not? Just two announcements. We have a friend's table in the back. Friends of the library are, are interested in having more folks join them. We have a giveaway that uh, I don't have one in my pocket anymore. <laughs> right, Anna has one. It's a keychain that also has a little light on it that flickers. And uh, these lights are automatic. So there isn't enough activity in the room. These lights are about to go out. <laughs> um, unless we leave them, I don't think so. Um, and then, oh, maybe, maybe Suzanne did. Yeah, Suzanne. Um, and then, walk around. <laughs> and then, um, so we have that giveaway. And then we have a storyteller who is going to share some stories right after the ribbon cutting. Her name is Jan Young. She also happens yeah. to be a member of the Friends. She's been a storyteller since 1977 at the Feast of the Honolulu Hunter's Moon and uh, is very um, established as a storyteller. And she was delighted to be able to join us today. So with stories on the prairie, we might have hoped to be outside to hear stories, but we hear some stories inside. So we encourage you to stay. There's some refreshments in terms of water, cookies, a fruit roll up for folks who might need that little piece of fruit. Not me, I'm not a fruit person, but that's what's there. And uh, what else? I think that's it. So again, thank y'all so much for being here.